now. We started with straw and clay workshops in 2010, so about uh, 11 years ago, and it was mainly about this combination of straw and clay, which was fascinating us. Naturally, the straw bales as insulation materials uh, have not just this wonderful insulation value, but uh, also uh, a lot of other benefits. One of the main benefits is it's healthy, it's wonderful to work with, it is joy, it is always a challenge and natural, natural. Uh, so as the guy you have seen before, uh, Herbert, <clears throat> one of the trainers of uh, ASPN, but as the chairman of ASPN, it needs a little bit more uh, being earnest, so I will take over. So this is the backside of our barn, of the virtual building side, where we usually have a sample wall and a lot of straw bales and uh, make straw bales and mainly clay plaster workshops or earth plaster uh, workshops and sometimes also lime, uh, lime plaster, lime render. Since 2017, we have this program STEP, which was uh, developed in the European Leonardo project. Um, this training consists, as you may have seen in another video in this, on this platform, about uh, STEP courses of uh, STEP U1 is an introduction about strobel building, STEP U2 is about infill and prefab, 3 is load bearing strobel, so without any posts in the, in the construction, uh, STEP U4 is wrapping, where we usually insulate uh, existing houses or structures uh, with straw on, on straw bales, STEP U5 is any kind of finishing, um, so mainly clay plaster but also lime render and cladding, wooden cladding. We have an uh, extra unit about installations in straw bale walls which is which are mainly in the in the lime in the clay plaster or lime render. Then we have building physics which helps us to find uh, especially all the mistakes or the reasons for mistakes uh, we can do in a straw bale building and they are, most of them are connected with, with moisture and so there is there needs to be a understanding a basic understanding of building physics. Then we have the construction planning because we see that um, especially carpenters have difficulties to make constructions where we really can infill the full bales. So uh, we tend to make the construction planning especially uh, by ourselves. But it's also about about solar architecture and architecture in general, sustainable architecture. Then we have the last unit is uh, unit eight, where it's about online training and tools for online training, also for social media and communication. <clears throat> so this includes usually also the calculation and the uh, discussions with clients. This is mainly the step course. So we do it every year. It's about six to eight months, depending if you do it online or also in combination with practical workshops. Last year, we had our 20 year anniversary where we made this 160 pages uh, book, which is also available on Jumbo uh, in English and German. So you can have a look at it. Uh, or if you become a member, you get a, a copy to download uh, for. And all the techniques we built with the complete step course is here described. Also the history of, uh, of ASPN. Since last year, Corona was a little bit hard for any kind of uh, non-profit organization. We also have members and supporters and we have about 600 newsletter subscribers now. And in the member area, we have now on, on our web page, babiologi.at, we have especially details for for houses, but also house plans, which you could use as a starting point for your own straw bale house in different sizes. You can download them, you can view them. And a lot of details so that you know how to execute the these tricky parts in a house, especially 
how to make an infill wall for example or a base plate elevated base plate if you want to start it with straw with a straw insulation a ceiling in a straw bale house uh, windows and how to insulate windows in with natural materials and then a roof and the roof construction especially if it's a, a straw bale roof or straw bale infield roof and for infill we also have a kind of step-by-step -step instruction so that you know how to deal with from abstro we took over the details of beam so there are sketchup drawings uh, which we also use in the step course but you have it also in the memory area you can download this this uh, samples for different wall systems and there was also a, a thermal bridge catalog uh, made by Benjamin Crick and um, Dirk Sharma which we introduce uh, also here in the member area parts at least parts of that the newsletter is uh, as any kind of newsletter free so you just have to sus subscribe this year we for example made a newsletter about the ESPG and what uh, will happen there then uh, we introduced the database we have new on the ESPA website with about 1600 or 1700 tropel houses all over Europe and we saw as there are many houses in in France we made a tour there the from France to Austria in a newsletter we also uh, introduced the step course uh, of this year then we had a mail about uh, modern straw bale construction and the most exciting houses in in Europe and then a special topic a tiny house uh, made of straw bales does this make sense is it sustainable uh, like that so these were the newsletters we also have a YouTube site which you can uh, subscribe and uh, most of the of the videos for the mm, newsletters are also on YouTube um, but also many others and uh, uh, other videos and also playlists for straw bill building for examples from all over the world uh, which we find exciting we had end of last year a call for this 20 year anniversary and have uh, some uh, supporters and donators ecosystem restoration camp and thanks to to mike deveria who initiated that uh, sonently a long long time partner with certified straw base erlinger holzbau where we really like to work with him as a carpenter Kreativer Holzbau, uh, we started this prefab module system or prefab panel system with uh, Kreativer Holzbau and Christoph Gastner. Lehmberg, also a long time partner, Anton Auer, uh, who also makes the trainings in clay and clay plastering. Sand and Lehm, Züchbauer, provider for uh, clay product, which is also quite long time provider eco cocon and naturally espa and a lot of other donators which you see here in the small uh, picture above naturally especially also our members <coughs> our new members who supported us the as i said the cooperation with holz by yellinger is is about now yeah eight years uh, old and we built a lot of houses in the past together this is for one example of, 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 of uh, the houses and also with Tony Auer from Lehmberg now he is also a really expert in clay plastering and, uh, and you can really ask him everything about uh, this earth and clay plaster topics. We also had a project which was finished last year this was the Vivi house project together with uh, the University of the Technical University of Vienna uh, where we made the trainings with the students from Technical uh, University but also with uh, participants who came just to look how uh, those panels can prefabricated panels can be made so we made a lot of workshops uh, during the last two years uh, for this for establishing or for 
making these, producing these panels. And last year, this three-story building in Vienna Donaustadt was established. This is the demonstration building, which uh, you also can visit now uh, in Donaustadt. We had another project also finished last year, training for change. Uh, the, the project is called Jump, and it is also, as you see behind me, an Erasmus Plus project. Uh, we will we made an application for a next uh, project, which uh, should uh, follow this autumn. So we'll see if we get this uh, project, and then we will go on. But this is a train for trainer. Uh, project and you will you can see the video also in this on this uh, ESPG platform there's a special uh, video in the introduction on the first day about jump and what we did there another wonderful project is uh, uh, ICT-ECO an online eco building training platform which we established uh, this is from a workshop uh, where the ICT-ECO people were here last week and we had a, a small workshop with them. But so we have also the step courses on this ECDECO platform, and this is what we established uh, also <clears throat> for the future. So that step is also possible online. But there is, as I said, also uh, uh, another presentation about step and this online workshops. Last year, this addition to an existing house at uh, Peter uh, Peter's place. Peter is a trainer of SBN and was a really good craftsman. Uh, so we established a new workshop place, also with support of Mike Deveria from the Netherlands. And so we built in the step course last year the structure and uh, the roof and. Uh, like that and then now it's quite ready and there are a lot of sleeping places there's in general more place there there's uh, about four hectare of forest also uh, so this is what we plan that we have the practical workshops in Neunagelberg near Gmünd and the theory places here on the virtual building site Mike Deveria, whom I already mentioned also from ecosystem restoration camps he was a stepper last year and he made a plan for a roundhouse. We took over this idea uh, and together with him we de developed the system and will build this roundhouse this year. Um, and you may see it in the, on the ESPG or parts of that, we'll see. It's consisting of a base plate of modules, uh, so every second panel is established so that you have a sort of column structure and uh, the top plate or ring beam on it and the reciprocal roof. This is just one of the, the plans you can do uh, out of these panels. You can also build, and this is planned, rectangular houses or domes on top of such a roundhouse, whatever you want. The, the goal for us was to make it mobile or transportable so that we can reassemble it and also, yeah. Like that. So this is about ASPN. We look a little bit on Austria in general and what else happened in Austria concerning straw bale building. One of the really nice projects uh, is Auenweide, a straw bale house village uh, in St. André Wördern. Uh, it's defined as an alternatively financed eco-social settlement north northwest of, of Vienna. Models for living and living together in the future are being tested here. And all those houses which you see here in the plan are already uh, built or in building phase and uh, consist of uh, straw bale houses, a lot of straw bale houses which are earth plastered uh, then in the near future. Another quite big project was uh, GESA, Haus des Lernens, which means House of Learning. It's in the capital of Lower Austria in St. Pölten. And this is made in a modified cut construction with the bales uh, vertically in the wall and uh, parts of this house, especially the roof overhangs where there was a like harder excess for direct uh, infill of straw bales um, was uh, blown in with, with short cut straw fibers. <clears throat> you see here 
one of the initiators of this project, Erwin Schwarzmüller, uh, where they get an award uh, from Klimaaktiv for this house, which was mainly built also for with the students of this of this uh, building school. Uh, yeah. And there are a lot of other houses we introduced or were built uh, in the last two years. You will find them as well on the ESPA webpage in this in this house database uh, if you go to Austria. And many of the houses you will also see on Babilugito.t on our webpage in the map. This was uh, one of the houses which was finished last year uh, in north of Vienna. Uh, in, in, in Seiring and this was also introduced by Open House in a video which is also on YouTube by RFM architects uh, and two uh, steppers uh, who also made the step course and then uh, designed this this wonderful house. Uh, I also want to mention Christian Reisenthaler, a straw blogger similar to Stravaitz in Germany. He uh, does a lot of interviews, as you see here, of these faces in Europe and in Austria and uh, blogs. So it's a good, uh, good recommendation uh, that you look on his uh, blog. You see the link in the, the YouTube uh, under the YouTube video if you want to follow this. Uh, Sonically, I already mentioned as a partner, but Sonically is also does also workshops and. Um, Besides that, this is uh, Austria's provider for uh, European technical approved uh, uh, building straw base and also for uh, blown in straw, um, which is a wonderful thing because we have this quality of good bales uh, the whole year over. Whenever we want to order, we order them. Uh, they produce it run out of round bales and, and repress it in a really good quality, always the same quality and density, which is wonderful to work with. So a really recommendation also for your straw bale project in Austria or maybe Germany as well. Sonnenklee also exported a mobile processing plant for Kloster Blankstetten, so one of the projects for Abstro for certified straw bales. So this is about the news from Austria. Thank you for watching and I'll see you maybe in the discussion afterwards. Ciao.